Holy smokers, guys, Amazon has just bought out Whole Foods. This move came out of nowhere. No one expected this move out of nowhere, guys. This is absolutely insane. And we gotta talk about, is this like doomsday for every single grocery related retailer out there, guys? Their stocks got hammered today. We gotta look at all this. This is crazy, guys. So Amazon to acquire Whole Foods for $13.7 billion. Deal allows outspoken Whole Foods co-founder to remain CEO, as I would have expected. Activist investor Jana Partners has pushed the grocer, or the Whole Foods, their, that's one of their investments, to seek a deal for a while. Now, we look here and, and retailers got absolutely nailed that have anything to do with food, right? Costco down over 7%, $12 a share today, Costco is down. Um, obviously, Costco sells a lot of different food items, and, and especially in bulk. Um, Super Value, which owns a bunch of different grocery store brands, that was down over 14% today. Kroger was down 9%, although that one was down about 17% at one point. Walmart was down over 4% today. These stocks just get absolutely nailed. Amazon was up over 2% today on this move. Uh, investors obviously like this move. Whole Foods went up over 29%, so congratulations to if any Whole Foods shareholders are out there that are watching this, congratulations to you guys on your big pay out there. So. Holy smokes, guys, what does this mean for every single grocery-related retailer out there? It means death, but not death tomorrow. Let's be very clear about this. Just because Amazon has bought Whole Foods out now, this doesn't mean all of a sudden Amazon's gonna dominate the grocery market tomorrow, okay? I'm sure my wife is still gonna go to Kroger uh, tomorrow, I'm sure she's probably gonna go there next week, next month, probably next year. The question is, three, five years ago, where she's shopping? That is the question, guys. And what you have here is a situation where Amazon allows Whole Foods now to charge ridiculously low prices if they want. They can literally start a food war. A food fight war? Maybe that's an expression, guys. What Whole Foods already has is it has the best brand name in the business. The best brand name. No one's above Whole Foods as far as brand name. Uh, what is expected as brand quality from their stores. The beauty of their stores that are like freaking masterpieces. Anybody that comes from the retail industry can appreciate Whole Foods stores. The lighting, everything, the setup, it is beautiful. It outclasses is any retailer out there by far and it's not even close guys as far as in the grocery store space so what you have is you have a, a huge brand name you have quality product right and now you have Amazon come in and say you know what we don't care if you even make a profit Whole Foods for the next fucking 10 years we don't care if you make any profit because we're Amazon we got the profits pouring in now and we want to win the grocery store game we want to win the grocery game that's that's tens of billions of dollars are spent on groceries food and drink every year right Amazon wants to win that game. They don't care if they make a profit, guys. Instead of selling cucumbers for two bucks, if they gotta sell them for 97 cents, they're gonna do it. They will do the move necessary so they can win over every single customer out there, just as they've done in retail. They will take the hit, they will take the profit loss, they don't care because what they want is they want a monopoly in every single industry out there, guys. They want it in everything. This is why I have been saying on this channel for over a year now, I cannot own any, any retailer out there. I can't own any retailer out there, guys, because the issue I have with every single retailer out there is it's just a matter of time before Amazon comes after you. It's just a matter of time. And, and I'm a long-term investor, right? I'm thinking years out. I can't get into any retailer because just think, what if I invested in a grocery retailer? I would have obviously got hit in the short term, right? You know, the, and that's not fun to get hit in the short term, but I don't give a shit about short term movements. I care about the long term. I care about when I sell that stock three years from now, four years from now, five years from now, what are those shares going to be at? There, Every retailer out there is in a long term loss in the end because Amazon's coming against you and they're gonna beat you. You're not gonna, you might be able to win a couple wars here and there against Amazon. You're not gonna win the battle in the end. I hate to break the news to every single retailer out there. You will not win because retail at the end of the day, what matters more than anything? Price, price, price guys, price. If I had this book here and I was selling it for um, $10 on Amazon, but I was also selling it at, for, at Walmart for 20 bucks, and I was also selling it at Target for 30 bucks, 
Where would everybody buy it? They would buy my book on Amazon without question because who the hell wants to spend $10 more shopping at Walmart or $20 more at Target, guys? The price matters in the end and it matters more than anything. And Amazon's able to come in there and compete. And so if you own any type of retailer, how can you sleep at night knowing Amazon's lurking? Imagine if Amazon came out tomorrow. Imagine you own, let's say, two of the most, um, well, two retailers that are like fighting off Amazon really well right now, right? Or are or, or seen as, you know, Amazon's not really too much of a threat to them are what? The home improvement retailers. I'm talking about Home Depot, I'm talking about Lowe's. If tomorrow, well, tomorrow Saturday, if Monday morning Amazon came out and they said, we're gonna start taking home improvement super serious. We're having a whole big home improvement section. We're redoing it all on our website. We are gonna offer the lowest prices possible. Do you know what would happen to Home Depot and Lowe's stock the next day? They would get absolutely nailed short term. And you know what would happen to them over the long term? They would lose market share in market share because people would also all of a sudden start seeing, damn, that drill is, is cheaper on Amazon rather than me go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's. I can just buy it on here. It happens time and time again, guys. So that's why I cannot bless any retailer out there because of this exact situation we had happen here where, you know, and whole in the Whole Foods Amazon thing, it does definitely make sense. Amazon wants to push into groceries big time. They're gonna be able to do it now. They can also put those Amazon lockers into the Whole Foods stores if they want, which is really good actually in, in like urban areas where maybe a lot of packages get stolen and stuff. So that's big time around Christmas time. I know my old company, Quick Trip, actually had uh, one of those Amazon lockers. They were putting them on the side of the stores. I believe it was in the Kansas City market. So uh, a brilliant move there, guys. So this is big time. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Like, do any of these these uh, food retailers have a chance? I'm telling you, over the long term, they really don't. They really don't over the long term. But it, the death is not happening tomorrow, okay? The death is not happening a year from now. It's gonna happen three years from now, five years from now, seven years from now. That's when those numbers will start getting nailed for all those retailers, just like it, it happened with Walmart and Target. And pretty much every retailer out there is on the ropes now at this point, guys. Every mall retailer, everybody. Um, all of a sudden, now their numbers are getting hit, even though we knew that was coming for a while. Now this is just something we know is coming. So anyways, did you guys follow me on Snapchat? If you did, you saw I actually bought some shares in the stock today. What stock was it? I bought some shares in GoPro. That stock is trading at ridiculous value right now. I bought my shares for seven seventy-seven dollars because, you know, that's just my lucky number. But I bought 128 shares, $1,000 worth. I don't ever do live trading or anything on this. Well, I'm not a trader. I'm a long-term investor, so it's kind of lame to, for me to even show that. But I did show it on Snapchat just for the fun of it. Um, so I might start doing that more on Snapchat. I might start actually showing like uh, when I buy shares, you know, every once in a while, hey, I'm buying, you know, such and such shares and actually showing you guys and stuff like that. So follow me on Snapchat if you actually want to see that stuff. But once again, I'm not a short term trader. So by the way, a lot of people, not a lot of people like five, 10, 15 people talking a lot of shit today to me. And that just amazes me. Oh, Jeremy, GoPro shares, they're approaching 52 week low, you suck, blah, blah, blah. It, it amazes me, people talk shit. It just, it's like mind blowing to me. And you never see me talk any shit as far as that goes. Like, I'm up over 100% on wind resorts and you don't see me popping champagne bottles, do you? Or saying I'm the greatest God investor ever, no. Because guess what, I'm a long-term investor and, and I know I can lose those gains. Just like in GoPro, um, I'm down huge, but guess what? I know I can come back monstrously on that position and sell out two or three years from now and make an insane profit. And um, so it amazes me people like to talk shit, but. That's the world we live in, I guess. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Book is linked in the description. If you just came across this channel, you may want to subscribe. We talk personal finance on the channel. We talk entrepreneurship. I'm an actual business owner. I give away so many business tips. We talk stock market investing more than anything. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day. By the way, guys, one other thing I wanted to mention on Sunday, June 18th, so a few days from now, I have a very special video coming out. Um, it's about my wife, it's about God, it's about my life goals, like a really in-depth video that I stuff about, I never talk about on this channel. It's really deep and whatnot, so if you wanna check that out, you can. I just wanna let you guys know it's coming out Sunday. Some of you might not get the notification for it because it's not like a stock market or business related video, so I don't know if, if uh, YouTube will really uh, send it out there, which is why I'm trying to promote the video, so at least you guys are aware that it's coming out. So, hope you enjoy that, bye!